UIC student athletes getting ready for the conference championships have just had their dreams dashed. Marshall Harris joins us. The Flames found out late Tuesday they will not be able to compete, Marshall. That's right, Marie Jim. UIC announcing January 25th it was leaving the Horizon League for the Missouri Valley Conference its next school year. In response, the Horizon League went straight to its rule book, citing conference bylaw 2.5.3.3. The Flames lose the privilege to participate in league championships. Matt Zahn on the fight on campus. It's a tough day at UIC. All of their winter and spring sports teams have been banned from playing in conference championships. Out of 18 conferences with teams exiting, like Loyola leaving the Missouri Valley, only three have gone the route the Horizon League did. We were stunned. Uh, we knew this was a possibility. But when you look around the country, 32 major athletic conferences in the nation, 18 have pending membership changes right now. Only three conferences nationally have chosen to take this kind of punitive action against their student athletes. So uh, to have it become a reality, um, it just feels heartless uh, and really entirely unnecessary. They've been practicing all their lives for this moment and to have it taken away from them, that's not fair. It's every young boy and every young girl's <laughs> dream, whether they're playing softball, they're playing tennis, basketball, etc., to get into an NCAA championship environment. UIC did break the Horizon League's bylaws by not giving a year's notice, and the league has the right to do this, but as UIC Athletic Director Michael Lippitz put it, they could also choose not to do it. It's the seniors that are especially hit hard by this news. Really just heartbreaking um, for swimmers and divers. This truly is the time where all our hard work really is showcased um, in our Horizon League Conference Championships. And truly, they are only a week away. Like, we, we were supposed to board the bus next week, Tuesday. Um, so it's just the timing of everything um, really is heartbreaking. And I just remember hearing the news, and I just speak out to my team, and my voice is quivering, and I'm breaking down because it, this, is, this is all for me. It's my last year, and I plan on going back home and becoming a firefighter. So I was really looking into, like, giving it my all this year. And it's just hearing that, it's, it's people in power taken away the opportunity for the students and the students or student athletes are getting punished for it. Athletic director Michael Lippitz says UIC has vowed to fight on their student athletes behalf and they will do whatever they can to get this decision overturned. At UIC, Matt Zahn, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Matt. The Flames swimming and diving team has already started an online petition to be allowed to participate in the next conference championship. That starts one week from today. I mean, how do you not feel for these athletes? Yes. That was tough to watch. Marshall, is there anything the school can do financially or any other way to resolve this ban quickly? Well, Marie, it should be noted the school did have to pay a requisite exit fee and then applied for a special waiver of that bylaw I mentioned, 2.5.3.3. It was denied. They're being real sticklers on that one year's notice. Marshall, how common is it what we're seeing at UIC? That's the thing, Jim. This normally does not happen, although the American East Conference did the same thing to Stony Brook and the Colonial Athletic Association to James Madison when they announced they were leaving those leagues at the end of this school year. But it looks like things are changing. All right, well, we'll watch swimming and diving mm. to see if they can get, you know, some sort of resolution right. in the next week before those championships. Thank you for that update, Marshall.